Hi, my name is Dan Berenger with Projects by Design. This week we're going to cover the subject of pragmatism, the next in our series, The Seven Principles of Discipline Agile, which you can find at projectsbydesign.net slash blog. If we look at the definition of pragmatism, it is really, in essence, to do the best with what we've been provided. As project managers, we know that we are provided with the resources the organization has to be able to deliver against the project objectives. One of the things that's key about project management is that we need to influence without authority. When we talk about authority, authority always follows priority. Projects are typically subordinate to operations and therefore we have to influence without authority. I like to think of this in three different areas. First of all, to be pragmatic with our processes. We deliver value, not process. We deliver the value through process, but people may never appreciate the process while they appreciate the value that's been delivered. Also, we need to be pragmatic with our team members. Oftentimes, we don't have the influence to be able to change behaviors the way that we like. However, we still have to align the team to the project objectives and make sure that all of those areas of concern are dealt with. And lastly, I like to think of being pragmatic with our deliverables. Think about what is acceptable to the customer rather than is it 100% conforming to specifications. We need to look for customer satisfaction first and foremost. We go into more detail on this on our blog uh, that you can find at projectsbydesign.net where you can also find information about our current course offerings for your project management certifications.